Welcome to the channel. I'm David Sugarman, and I'm here to help you learn English in a simple, fun, and useful way. If you're tired of studying and not seeing progress, you're in the right place. I've created easy lessons that take you step by step, starting from the basics and moving up. We'll focus on key areas like grammar and listening. Both super important to help you understand and speak English naturally. This video is a part of a series of lessons. So if you've been learning with me or one of my teachers, it's a great way to review what you've already covered in class. Whether we're working together one-on-one -on -one or in a group, or you're studying with one of my teachers, these presentations help you keep practicing and keep making progress. Think of this video as a tool to review the lesson, a way to go over the material again and make it stick. This way of learning really works. You'll start to understand and speak English with more confidence. So stick with it, keep practicing, and you'll see progress in no time. And if you even want more practice, you can find exercises on my website at davidenglish.info that go perfectly with these lessons to help you learn faster. Let's get started. So now to the lesson. We're focusing on was and were. Remember, was and were is connected to nouns and adjectives in most cases in the most basic form. And you can check it out that if you look here, I was at the park. You were at the park. She or he was at the park. We were at the park. They were at the park. That's the positive form. Going over to the negative form for was and were, I wasn't at the park. You weren't at the park. She or he wasn't at the park. We weren't at the park. They weren't at the park. Those are the forms for was and were with the positive and negative forms. And then for questions, remember, we're going to be putting this in front of the subject. Were you at the park yesterday? Were they at the park last night? Was he or she at the park there yesterday? Or were we at the park? Remember, those are the forms. That's what they go with. And let's continue with the lesson. Directions. You're going to form the sentences with the exercises we have here. These are practices. Now, I'm going to give you the answer. We will read through it, and then I'll give you the answer. At this point, you could even stop the video, take out a pen or a notebook, and write down your own answers, and then check to see if you're correct. And you could do that with all of these exercises. And I have 20 questions to go through where we're going to be practicing again on was and were. Number one. I be New York last summer. The answer is, I was in New York last summer. Make sure you're putting in the in there as well, the preposition. I was in New York last summer. Number two, we be not at the office last Sunday. We were not at the office last Sunday. Three, John at the gym this morning. Now, John is again, is a boy or a man. We're talking about him. We want to say John was at the gym this, this morning. Four, they, it's plural, many, they be the cafe two hours ago. They were at the cafe two hours ago. And five, he be Japan last week. It's about him. It's singular. We're going to say he was in Japan last week. You be the concert last night. I'm going to say... You were at the concert last night. Seven. We be not the meeting yesterday morning. What do you guys think? 
we were not at the meeting yesterday morning. We were not, because we is plural, so we're using were not. Eight, Maria be the library two days ago. Maria was, what do you think? Maria was at the library two days ago. Nine, they be not the party last weekend. What do you think? The answer is they were not at the party last weekend. We're saying were not because of the word they. 10. He be the doctor's office last Tuesday. He was at the doctor's office last Tuesday. He was, again, was with he, she, and it. And then with were, it's going to be you were, we were, and they were. Okay, number 11. Fill in the blanks. Complete the sentences. He confident during the presentation last Friday. The answer is he was confident during the presentation last Friday. 12. We at the zoo last Saturday. What do you think? The answer is, we were at the zoo last Saturday. And you're doing great. Let's keep going. Keep going. You're going to get better. The more you do, the better you're going to get. 13. Sarah, a talented artist when she a teenager. Sarah was a talented artist when she was a teenager. Keep going and stay in the past. 14. They in Japan last spring. They were in Japan last spring. They were in Japan last spring. 15. You always punctual at your previous job. What do you think? You were always punctual at your previous job. Again, going from 16 to 20 to complete this activity. Let's do this, guys. She nervous before her first marathon. She was nervous before her first marathon. 17. We at the museum a couple of weeks ago. We were at the museum a couple of weeks ago. 18. John, a dedicated student in his early years. What do you think? It's John. John was a dedicated student in his early years. 19. They on vacation in Australia last winter. They were on vacation in Australia last winter. 20. You supportive during my difficult times last year. You were supportive during my difficult times last year. Now, I want to say this was a pre-intermediate lesson. I have more to come. You could check out more on my website at David English Info if you want to finish this. But please stay further because now we're going to be doing a listen repeat activity to repeat these sentences so that they go in and that you speak correctly. And again, don't forget to leave a comment. Let's try. Share something. And you can say, last week I was, and put it in the comments. Last week I was in the park with my friends and we had a great time. Share me something that you did and where you were last week. Last week we were. Maybe you were there with your partner, but share me something in the comments. Write down an example and I'll tell you if you're right. Here we go. Answer key. Listen to me and then repeat after me. I'll give you some seconds to repeat after me if you want. 
I was in New York last summer. Now you say it. Very good. We were not at the office last Sunday. Now you say it. John was at the gym this morning. You listen and then repeat. They were at the cafe two hours ago. He was in Japan last week. You were at the concert last night. We were not at the meeting yesterday morning. They were not at the party last weekend. Listen and repeat again. He was at the doctor's office last Tuesday. You're doing great. Let's continue. 11. He was confident during the presentation last Friday. We were at the zoo last Saturday. Sarah was a talented artist when she was a teenager. They were in Japan last spring. You were always punctual at your previous job. She was nervous before her first marathon. We were at the museum a couple of weeks ago. John was a dedicated student in his early years. They were on vacation in Australia last winter. You were supportive during my difficult times last year. Well done, everybody. Again, for more information, visit and follow my social media accounts. I'm here for you all the time. Bye for now, everybody. Hi, how are you today? If you would like to elevate your English level where people actually understand you, where you're not making mistakes, where you're not confused, where you have control of your English, then you're in the right place. My name is David Sugarman. I've been teaching business English for over 12 years and I can really help you. Currently right now, I'm teaching in big companies like Diplomat Israel, like IKEA and others. If you would like to hear more information, please reach out to me over here. Bye for now.